But we start with this first. Five accused are set to continue with their bail application in the Pitritif Magistrates Court in Mkondo on Tuesday. The four farmers and one farm employee face two counts of murder, defeating the ends of justice, kidnapping and attempted murder. This, of course, related to the killing of Zenzele and Mkrinikoka last week. There were clashes between police as well as protesters outside court on Monday. And here's ENCA senior reporter Sipamantla Koke with that story. A chaotic day outside the Petrotif Magistrate's Court. <laughs> Police had their hands full, trying to control an unruly crowd. Several protesters came to oppose bail for the accused in the murder of the Koga siblings. It's enough now. It's enough for all of South Africans that the black, the black lives will be taken for granted. These are not dogs. These are people. And, and if it was a white man who was shot like that, a black man would be sitting in jail and without any bail. Now this must happen. People must be equal. They must also be jailed without any bail. Inside court, the bail application hearing proceeded smoothly. All accused elected to submit their bail applications through sworn affidavits without any oral evidence. But only two were able to be processed on Monday. While court proceedings were underway, stun grenades and clashes between police and protesters could be heard outside. The clearly heightened racial tensions in the area has law enforcement authorities on alert. We uh, foresaw, as according to the information that we collected on the ground, to indicate that there might be tension. And Mzuli says there was violence outside court, with some state and private property destroyed. Besides uh, the, the state vehicles that were destroyed, we also got reports that there is a puchari, uh, uh, the windows of that puchari were, were, were unfortunately uh, uh, smashed. Family members of the deceased Koga siblings were also in court and are opposed to the accused being granted bail. A standoff between police and protesters continued throughout Mkondo town well after court proceedings ended. Police say they'll continue to beef up security. Sipamandla Koke, Mkondo, Pumalanga.